Hello, welcome to the Bible Takeaway, where you can expect to snack on the who, what and when of a particular Bible filling. For dessert, you have an option of a few quiz questions to help your digestion of the content. This is a Bible summary of 2 Kings. 2 Kings isn't a particularly happy time. The events are set in the divided monarchy and spill over to the exile in Babylon which begins about 600 BC. In 2 Kings, you can expect stories about the prophet Elisha and the mostly evil kings of Israel and Judah until the Babylonians take the Israelites into exile. The key people in 2 Kings are Elisha, Ahaziah, Hezekiah and Josiah. For a key passage, try 2 Kings chapter 18 verses 5 to 7. Hezekiah trusted in the Lord, the God of Israel. There was no one like Hezekiah among all the kings of Judah, either before him or after him. He held fast to the Lord and did not stop following him. He kept the commands the Lord had given Moses, and the Lord was with him. He was successful in whatever he undertook. In summary of chapter 2, Elisha follows Elijah. A chariot of fire appears and Elijah goes up to heaven. Elisha takes Elijah's mantle and divides the waters. In chapter 3, Israel, Judah and Edom go to fight Moab. Elisha says, The Lord will send water and give you Moab. The Moabites are defeated. In chapter 6, the king of Aram sends an army to capture Elisha, but the Lord blinds them. Ben-Hadad besieges Samaria and there is a great famine. In chapter 12, Joash rules in Jerusalem and does what is right. The priests collect money to repair the temple. Joash is killed by his servants. In chapter 16, Ahaz rules Judah and does evil. Aram and Israel attack Judah, so Ahaz sends a tribute to the king of Assyria. Ahaz sets up an altar. In chapter 18, Hezekiah rules Judah and does right. The Assyrians surround Jerusalem. Rabshakeh says, don't listen to Hezekiah, come out to me. In chapter 19, Hezekiah prays, O Lord, save us. Isaiah said, the Lord says, I will defend the city. That night, the Assyrians are struck dead. In chapter 21, Manasseh rules in Jerusalem and does evil. The Lord says, I will bring disaster on Jerusalem and Judah. Ammon rules and does evil. Chapter 22, Josiah rules and does right. He has the law read out and tears his robes. Huldah says, The Lord says, you will be buried in peace. In chapter 25, Nebuchadnezzar besieges Jerusalem. Nebuzaradan burns the temple and takes the people into exile. Evil Merodach releases Jehoiakim. So what's the takeaway in 2 Kings? Well, it's a blessing when the people in charge are serving the Lord, but that won't always be the case. We need to trust that God is at work whatever happens. And now a quick quiz. Question one, which prophet followed Elijah?
Question two, how did Elijah ascend to heaven? Question three, Israel's mission against Moab nearly failed due to lack of what? Question four, what did the Lord do to the army sent to capture Elisha? Question five, which prophet did Hezekiah quote when praying for protection for Jerusalem? Question six, was Manasseh a good or bad king? Question seven, who besieged Jerusalem? And question eight, who destroyed the temple? And now the answers. Elisha followed Elijah. And Elijah left on a chariot of fire. Question three, Israel desperately needed water. And question four, the army sent to capture Elisha was blinded. The answer to question five, Hezekiah quoted Isaiah. And six, Manasseh did evil. Question seven, Nebuchadnezzar besieged Jerusalem. Question eight, it was Nebuzaradan who destroyed the temple. And there you go. If you have a different takeaway or a personal favorite key passage, please feel free to leave a comment below. Until next time, goodbye and God bless.